What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Guys, we have something insane in store today. Something I've always wanted to do, but I really never had the opportunity until last night. I was fishing, just messing around right in front of my house at the lake, and look what I caught. I caught two giant crappie. These are black crappie, and uh, these aren't too common, but we just had a really heavy rain, and these things were munching on shad, so I got two of them. And we're gonna cook them up today. We're just gonna fillet the sides, Throw them in the kitchen, but before we get to all that, guys, go ahead and like this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I make crazy fishing videos. Join the family. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. And uh, guys, we're gonna get right to it, so uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're gonna start filleting this crappie right now. And I'm just gonna cut right along the head, just like that, all the way down like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna scissor cut along the spine. Just small little cuts like this, and really the bone is just gonna lead you right to where you wanna be. Okay, until about there, that's good. As you see our cut right there, first cut right there. Now the ribs are right here, so I'm not gonna mess with that quite yet. We're gonna start to go a little bit deeper with our scissor cut, but as you can hear that, I'm scraping right along the bone. I'm not trying to miss any of this meat. And it's insanely white meat. I cannot believe I caught this in front of my house. Yep, so now we're gonna stick our knife through just like that. We're gonna come down. But we don't we don't wanna cut that off yet, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Okay. So now we're gonna cut right over this rib cage. Look at that. That is all rib cage right there. And we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut all that out. Let me flip it around now. Honestly, I'm just gonna cut all that out. Now, we're gonna knock off the skin from the meat. So, all we gotta do Let's go just like this. It's important to have a good bend in your knife. And then we just cut right along, just like that. I mean, the meat is separated from the skin. So that's it, that's our first fillet right there. I cut out the rib cage, so there's literally no bones in this, like at all. Super good piece of meat right there. And then same thing for the other side. the train. Now, the second side of the fillet is always harder. I'm just gonna stick my knife through again. Almost cut all the way through, but we can't. And look at that. Cut right, I think this is even better than the first fillet. Move this little guy out of the way. Ooh, cut out all the rib cage right there. All right, we're just gonna bypass. All right guys, same thing as before. We're gonna cut right here. Make sure you have good bend in your knife. And, oh, almost got it. Boom, the meat is separated from the skin. So that's our first filet, check it out. Not bad, we got a good amount of meat, super white meat. This might be better than the snakehead. Here it is, we have our fillets right here and they actually look really good. Super white meat. I think, it, I think it's gonna taste insane. That was our bigger crappie. Now we're gonna cut up the small one and we'll see you in the kitchen. All right guys, so we're in the kitchen now. The meat looks pretty good. It actually looks insane. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rinse it off. Just get a little bit of water flowing just like that. But like, just like we're washing our hands here, just you know, gonna take off all the nasty stuff off the meat. And then we're gonna pad dry it, just like that. 
That's ready to, oh God, that should be good. And then we're ready to cook them up. Just like that. There we go, guys. That's about as good as it gets. Right in front of my house, literally. So, that's insane. Now it's time to actually season the fish. So we're gonna get a nice little bowl right here. All right, a little Tupperware. And then, dump that fish right on in. And yes, there's so many other ways to cook fish, but I love to blacken it. It's, it's just so good, you know. It just, it just, it's just really good, man. You know, it just, that's just the way I like it. So, you know, pour a bunch of that on there. Be very generous with it. And then, yeah, mix it all up like that. You know what? I'm not gonna put any more, because I do want to taste the actual flavor of this fish. But, oh my gosh, that right there. That right there looks awesome. And it's about time to cook it. All right guys, so we have our extra virgin olive oil here. The pan has been heating up for a minute now. Ah! No, that's fine, I'll watch it. All right guys, going in. Perfect, let that heat up. Guys, so we're gonna go ahead and cut some lemon up. Just cut, lemon, just cut a little bit of lemon up. And then bring it right over the fish. Oh yeah. And what this does, it just helps all that seasoning to stick to it. And uh, of course, give it some really good flavor. So now it's time to lay them down. Oh my God. It is going down. All right guys. Crappy just went down in the pan. Mmm, it smells so good guys, so you know what, it's, it's almost done. I mean, it's probably a super thin fish, so probably a minute and a half on each side, and we're going to eat it. Alright guys, so we're going to flip our fish, definitely ready to be flipped. Ooh, hot. Oh my god. And I did not bread it as much as I did the snakehead last time, so I really overdid it. And I, I want to taste the quality of this meat. I want to actually taste the fish and see how it is. So, it's almost done here with this little guy. A little nugget right there. Wow, I cannot believe I'm looking at fish that I caught out of my neighborhood last night. This just looks insane, guys. I cannot wait to try this. This is my first time ever having crappy in my whole life. I wanted to do this for so long and the opportunity came up last night and I took it. Hopefully I don't get sick and let's go ahead and give this a shot. Guys, the first bite, it's going down, ready? Oh my freaking God, are you kidding me? Guys, the best freshwater fish I've ever had. Snakehead, oh my God, crappy is insane. So, um, what? Mm. Alright guys, I'm gonna eat this real quick. This is insane. I'm just gonna show you something. Look at this. That This meat is so freaking tender. Look, I was like, it's like mashed potatoes right now. I've, I've never seen... It's just such a flaky white fish. This fish tastes so freaking good, guys. So, I'm gonna go back to eating it because I am actually starving. This is really my breakfast. You know, we got some lemon here. I would highly recommend, if you've never tried crappie, definitely try it. It is so freaking good. I am definitely going to eat them again, but the craziest part about it, I literally caught it right outside of my house. So, insane, guys. Definitely try it. I'm gonna keep on grubbing. Ah. All right, guys, so now I gotta we got a discard of the evidence. Never had freaking crappie. What are you doing? You guys got to go and try some, man. These fish are good. Awesome, awesome fish. Alright, guys. So we got the crappie here. It's really windy right now, so you know you gotta really scream. But um, here they are, and there's absolutely no waste. Come with me. Pretty clean fillet. I mean, oh, you see that fly on me? Bye. 
<laughs> All right, guys, that brings us to an end for today. Guys, we are growing, so keep on subscribing. Keep on supporting the channel. If you have not joined the family, click that red subscribe button right now. And I want you to thumb punch that like button. Like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below what you want me to do next. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post on YouTube. And guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Until next time, keep on fishing.